Nathan, need another three races in Gold Fleet here at Perth 2011, but Nathan, another disjointed day for the 49er fleet. Yeah, we had to do another double session today. Uh, this morning we had a, a nine o'clock start in the Eastley on Centre Course, and it was probably uh, the most random racing we've had sort of all season. We, we were leading both races at the gate, um, but only bit managed to get a 10 and a five. So uh, it was a bit disappointing and frustrating, but at the same time, they were all keepers, so that was the good thing. And then we sat around a bit all day and went out uh, this afternoon in the sea breeze and did one race and wasn't looking so great for us. We were about 22nd at the first mark after hitting it and having to do turns, but we just plugged away and kept uh, trying to, you know, play with the shifts because the breeze still hadn't settled down yet. And we, we got back to an eighth, so um, we were really happy with that and it puts us now only two points off the lead. And Ian, so with another three races to go tomorrow, everything's going to change again, isn't it? Yeah, we've had everything this week, so we, uh, we don't really know what to expect for tomorrow, but um, we'll just go out and try to uh, post a couple of top tens and um, have a look and see how we're sitting after that. And with the, you know, the break like you had again today, how do you keep yourselves you know, mentally prepared to go back out there again? Um, you just got to have a bit of time off. We went, uh, we went home and cooked some lunch and sat around and played some cards and you got to be able to, to, uh, to tune out when, when you're on shore, otherwise it just drives you insane. And Nathan, as you said, that last race, I mean, you end up with an eighth, but some of the guys around you actually end up with worse results, so it actually worked out in your favour, favour all right? Yeah, it worked out well. Up the first beat, we were sort of, we were in the middle of the fleet and just sort of missed one of the main shifts at the top, but uh, the, the British guys were sitting in last the whole way up the first beat, so we weren't too concerned, but then when we hit the top mark and did turns, uh, it got really stressful and quite close, but we were able to be you know, close enough to pull back quite a few boats on the last beat and run, and I think they only managed to get back to a 15th and 17th, the guys with the blue and yellow dots. So um, the eighth was a lot better based on their results, but uh, you know, hopefully we can be in the higher end of the top 10 tomorrow. It looks like big sea breeze tomorrow, 2.30 start, so um, it's gonna be maybe some survival racing.